Plastic Soup, written by Judith Copens and Andy Engel. Owl, Mouse, and Mole are setting up their spot on the beach. Here comes the rest of the gang. What a perfect day for the beach, says Owls. I can't wait to fly my kite, says Mouse. But first, I'm going to sit and read my book. Owl, Hedgehog, and Pigeon crowd under the umbrella with Mouse. But Frog and Fox are ready to swim. Frog, wait for me, calls Fox as he grabs his floaty. Come on, says Frog. I'll give you a ride. Frog and Fox dive into the water. When Frog comes up, Fox takes one look and laughs. Frog, you look like a sea monster, he says. Huh? says Frog. He reaches for his head and pulls off a torn plastic bag. What is this doing in the ocean? he asks. And this? Frog points to a small plastic container. And here's a plastic bottle, says Frog, as he reaches for a bottle that floats beside him. Fox and Frog go back to the beach to show their friends what they found. Yuck, says Mole. Double yuck, Frog agrees. I was just reading about that in a magazine, Hedgehog says. About what? Frog asks. All the plastic in the ocean, says Hedgehog. Look here. The animals look at the pictures in her magazine. Much of the plastic that we throw away ends up in our rivers, adds Hedgehog. And since the river flows to the ocean, so does the plastic. That's, that can't be good for the animals and the plants that live here, says Mouse. Wait, says Frog. So most of the plastic that we throw away ends up in our oceans? That's right, Owl nods. The ocean is like one big plastic soup. Yuck, I wouldn't want to eat eat plastic soup. Fox calls out, and I don't want to swim in it either. What can we do to help? asks Mouse. Well, Owl sighs, we should use less plastic, because if we don't use it, it won't end up in our oceans. Mouse wants to cheer everyone up. Let's fly my kite, she says. Yay! The others agree. You only one problem, says Pigeon. I accidentally sat on Mouse's kite. They can't fly a kite, a broken kite. What will they do? Wait a minute, Frog suddenly says. He takes the plastic bag he found in the water and begins to tie the kite string to it. The animals look on curiously. It's like a kite, yells Mouse happily. I want one too, cries Hedgehog. Me too, says Fox. How about me, asks Mole. Frog thinks for a minute, and then he has another idea. Hey, Pigeon, bring me all the plastic bags that we brought to carry our things to the beach, he calls. Frog starts dumping the items from the bags into the wheelbarrow. Are we going to throw all the plastic bags away? Asks Pigeon in amusement. No, of course not, says Frog. We're going to reuse them. What a great idea. All the animals join in and help. Now look, we can all fly kites, says Owls. Plastic kites are better than plastic soup, Frog, says Frog. And they all agree. Do it yourself. Put some paint on a plate. Dip the cork in the paint. Stamp your bag with different colors. Pigeon doesn't use plastic bags he carried to carry his things anymore. Instead, he made, re, made a reusable bag to bring to the market. Go to the market and say no to plastic bags. Put your groceries in a nice new bag. 
So you will see a lot of new bags at the grocery store are reusable. Plastic soup. The end.